Hi guys, welcome to Final Cut Bits, I'm Colin. In this short tutorial, I want to explain about audio levels, okay? So I've got a, a footage here that I've recorded earlier. I brought the raw footage from the camera into the timeline. And you will see the levels, the audio track down here. Let's just bring this a bit bigger. Uh, you can also go to, you can go to this and make sure it's a little bit bigger. All right. That one. Right now, we need to make sure our, our audio levels are correct. Uh, we don't want them too quiet. We don't want them too noisy, too loud and peaking. Okay, we're definitely not seeing no peaking at the moment because we're not seeing no no high levels, no red burning at the top. Okay, so we need to open the audio levels meter. And to do this, there's two ways. I'll show you the most difficult way first. You go to Window. Workspaces, well this is it, showing workspace, audio meters. Then you see your audio meter there, the bottom right. Okay, that's cool. We'll just hide that and I'll show you the better way. All right. So if you can remember this, this is great, right? So as soon as you're ready to change your audio levels, you press Shift Command 8. All right, it's just simple as that. Shift Command 8, off and on, and it's back. So simple, once you remember it, so simple. All right, so we play this. We can see the bars, the is peaking around here at this level, maybe around minus five, minus six. It is too quiet. We are looking at aiming for dialogue, for zero. Above zero is peaking, below it just Below it is the levels that you want, so we can definitely afford to um, we can definitely afford to bring this up a little bit. So how do we bring it up? All right, so we can again two ways. There's multiple ways of doing things in Final Cut Pro. We can go to this bar, we can bring it up, and we can just guess and just feel our way. We're five decibels higher. We can see the red peaks have already start peaking there. But it doesn't look, look like it's too extreme, but it's probably a bit too higher than you want, really. Um, so I'll just bring that down. We're back to zero again. Right, what I do, generally, is I go to this sound icon. Okay, you can manually edit it, and you can watch the spar as you do it. So you can just, we want to increase it, so we're going to put plus two. I will just type in two, and that immediately rises the levels here. Or we can go four, and we see some peaking. All right, so we just kind of play it a little bit, and we're looking for just below zero. All right, and you can see it's peaked a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's too bad. The um, is it perfect? I don't think. I think it's a little bit too much. Um, so I'd say we can put to three here, and I'd say now this looks like perfect at a safe level. You're not raising your voice is not peaking too much in, 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 in that those areas. It's definitely not too quiet. So when you're doing this, it's best to listen to it with some headphones on and you get really good headphones or just ones that you can really hear clearly. And uh, you gauge it from that, but you don't even need to hear the audio. You know, I've, I've turned the sound off on the recording so you won't hear the sound, but, but just knowing these numbers on the levels here, um, you aim for the zero, Okay, um, if you have music that you've got to under it, you want talking and music, it's good to aim for the music, say, minus 12, and then your voice around zero. Uh, but just listen to it to get the feel in your headphones that the music is not overpowering the voice. Um, it's largely going off feel, but this is a great indicator where you want to aim for. If you're pumping out your video straight at the camera and it's only peaking at like minus six, that's a little bit too quiet for the listener. You know, if you've ever heard, seen the videos and you've had to, you've cranked the volume right up and it's still kind of not loud enough. That's why, that's why, because they've not, they've not got the volume level to the correct level and it can be annoying. So for optimum listening performance, aim for the voice at being zero. And that's what I do for these videos. Okay, uh, I made some adjustments to the microphones, which should sound a lot better. I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone, and it should sound a lot better than the previous videos. So I just had to, you know, it's, it's all about little improvements here and there, learning bits, bits.
bits and here and there, you know. Um, so I think uh, the, there is more to talk about in terms of audio. It's it's quite a lot more of a complex issue, but I just wanted to keep it simple in this lesson. And you understand those basic fundamentals and you'll be a lot better editor for it, you know. So audio is very important, so you need to make sure the audio is the best that you can get it. Thanks for listening, guys. And if you find this useful, these tutorials, please drop me a subscribe, uh, like, and hit that bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.